this is just a, a random post, a random video. It's been a funny old day, really. Um, my youngest has come down with a stomach bug. I feel a bit ropey. Um, and I think I probably was coming down with it over the weekend. Because Sunday, when I made the um, last ASOS haul video, I wasn't feeling 100%. So it's been a day mainly of watching a bit of silly TV, flicking on Twitter every now and then, on YouTube every now and then. I really don't understand what's going on on Twitter. It seems that Katie Hopkins is back, but not in that she's got her Twitter account back yet because she's been banned and um, somebody else has posted a video of her talking about Marcus Rashford and I think she's basically not bashing him she's having a go at um, some parents but I think she's um, talking about parents but grouping everybody together um, my youngest son he's the only one that's in um, government funded education now all the other ones have left school is in he's in receipt of free school meals and we did get the vouchers over the summer which Marcus Rashford had campaigned for and I think a lot of people are politicising what Marcus Rashford is doing. What he's doing is he's using his voice to publicise something that is personal to him because I think he was a child that was that received free school meals so I think he's talking probably from his perspective and his experience and doesn't want other children to go hungry. I really admire all of the charities and some schools that are providing meals for children over the half term holidays. It's just so annoying that there is so much food that goes to waste, ends up in landfill, etc. Yet, on the other hand, there are not just children that are going hungry, ad adults, all parts of society going hungry. It's just, it's just crazy, 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 crazy. Um, my youngest daughter is doing some volunteering work at a food charity where they get lots of food from places that would usually have gone to landfill and just the, the masses and masses of food that is dropped off there. It's just incredible. I know Tesco's gives an awful lot to the charity. I know I've, I've, when I've been dropping her off, there's been um, big Tesco lorry there dropping pallets and pallets of stuff off. But as a society, why are we producing so much food knowing that a percentage of it is going to landfill and that there's lots of people that are hungry starving and it's just I don't know it's just crazy <coughs> another random thing 
don't know if anybody else has seen the many, many adverts on TV and wherever else they pop up for Britbox and how they're really pushing the new spitting image. And I think that's the only place where it's available. And they're all, always, majority of the adverts that they show, they've got the Boris Johnson puppet. They've just got that so, so wrong. They've given him sort of whitish hair. But if you, if you look at Boris Johnson, his hair's more sort of like a corn coloured yellow, yellowy blonde rather than a white blonde. It's just, I wish people would get things right if you're going to go on the TV and charge people a subscription to watch it. It should be, you should get a little detail like his hair colour, right? <laughs> <laughs> years and years ago, when Boris was I think he was the MP for Henley back in the 2000s and I remember I was stood at a bus stop in Oxford just waiting and not thinking of anything just minding my own business and then all of a sudden a man behind me shouts out well done Boris excellent speech the other night well done and I happened to look at this figure that was sort of half crossing, half walking along the road. And it was none other than Boris Johnson. And he'd got his trademark hair and he just went, oh, 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 like that. And that was his sort of response to somebody congratulating him. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Trolls. I'm assuming that trolls have been at work again. I watched a video the other day. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Matthew Santar, Santoro. Santoro. I think you, you probably will have heard of him because he's got millions of subscribers. He posted a video saying I'm scared and I think it was basically about I think a lot of people are feeling this way where you you get sort of almost like a brain fog and you sort of begin to doubt your own abilities and lose a bit of confidence and lose your way a little bit and I I made a comment posted a comment on it and I think somebody liked the comment that I put and a lot of other people were putting similar comments. I didn't read all the comments because there were just thousands of them. And then that post was deleted all of a sudden. It was just gone. So I'm just, I mean, I could be wrong. He may have his own reasons for deleting that post because I've got a few of my videos that I've taken down. But trolls are just a nuisance. I'm lucky so far. I haven't been trolled yet. I'm expecting it. And I don't know if somebody's building up to it because I've got a dislike on my latest video. But no comment. So can I just ask if you do happen to dislike? I'm not stopping you. That's your privilege, your right to express like or dislike, but I'd really appreciate it if you put in the comments why you don't like something, because then I can improve on that. Because all of this is a learning curve for me and probably for a lot of people as well. So feedback, is very important. Sorry, there's a fly buzzing around in here. It's been in the house for days and I just can't get rid of it. 
and and there's been other people as well that have felt really upset by trolls and by other people's opinions so get yourself a life if you're a troll right i'm going to talk you through what i've done with my face today i haven't got any foundation on i didn't have any foundation on for the asos haul all i've got on is a bit of charlotte's magic cream some of the urban decay around the eyes some in the crease using that technique that i told you about from hot and flashy and a bit of eyeliner in the waterline up there and up there but i don't know if anybody else has ever put waterline eyeliner on i used to do it way back i've been doing it since the 80s but then sort of stopped doing it once i got into my 20s but does anybody else find that it doesn't really stay you have to keep reapplying it and if I was to leave it all, if I put it on first thing in the morning and was to leave it all day without retouching, I'd end up with big blobs in the corners of my eyes. Big blobs of whatever colour eyeliner I'd put in there. Does anybody know of any eyeliners that don't sort of wash away and get all gunked up in the corners of your eyes? I'd really love to know and I'd really love to try it. I might be filming a try on video later tonight. I'm not sure yet. I'm not feeling 100% today. In fact, confession, I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> it's just been one of those days. So a bit of a rambly, weird, strange video. So do what you like, like, dislike, but whatever you do, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And I will see you next time, hopefully for that clothes haul. Bye. Just so you know that I'm not bluffing or anything. Here's the ASOS stuff. You can see, still in the bag but I'll be giving it a try on later.